pseudonym. Very cool. Gonna merge. And here we go. Let's play. Yeah, come on. Beats all push. Back into normal mode. There we go. So, some of you guys may not realize this. Slowly work my way into a positional shot. And then here. Uh, that's fine, let him. He's lucky. <laughs> yeah, let's see what he does here. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Pre pre turn boost. Tricord away. Oh, what a merge. What a merge. Start delta merging. Slowly walk the distance. Now start engaging. Beats all push across his nose. Change direction. Okay, now he's running. I'm actually going to tricord into his position. slowing down. Just missed the turn. Back into normal because I need forward thrust. Come on, buddy. Okay, he's going to cut around me. No, oh, nope. No, he's not. Change back to normal mode. Feet tall here. Push into center. Now chase. Back to normal mode. Beats all, arrest my motion, back to center, and there we go, high speed. Welcome back everybody to another video. Today we're taking a look at some fights we had in the Persistent Universe with none other than the Drake Cutlass Blue. So a lot of folks during stream have been asking me, and I've kind of seen this around, um, you know, the spectrum and YouTube comments. A lot of people seem to think that the Drake Cutlass is just not an effective ship. And I kind of wanted to show again, um, I have a few videos with the Drake Cutlass. Uh, I have a few with the Cutlass Black called Taming the Beast. And what this really comes down to is management on the VTOL mode and understanding your basics, right? Um, if you can manage the Cutlass in her VTOL mode uh, at, at, at key moments during fights, um, the Cutlass, in my opinion, is the best dogfighter for Drake by a long mile. Um, I would comfortably, honestly, I could honestly say this, I could comfortably sit myself, even against some of the best pilots in the game, in a Cutlass um, and feel like I relatively have a chance at fighting back um, uh, and in some cases even take a win. Uh, I can't say the same for basically anything else in the Drake line. But a lot of times people mistake those slow turn rates, the physically large profile. You know, they, they kind of give the Cutlass a hard time and they don't really realize that some of the strengths of this ship are truly astounding. So I kind of want to break down this turn right here just to kind of illustrate what I mean by why the ship is so powerful. So you'll notice that right now we're in VTOL mode, which means vertical takeoff and landing. My thrusters are facing down. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually uh, like arresting my motion relative to my enemy. So because I upstrafe so hard, I'm getting around like 15 to almost 20 G's of acceleration uh, when I do this. <laughs> and once I actually gain the advantage and I cancel his momentum with mine, then I turn my thrusters back to normal. And as you can see here, I slowly move my way in. And obviously my turret gunner is helping the process the entire time, right? 
I've got six size three guns. It's a lot of DPS. And if you see right here, same process as before, right? We canceled his motion with an up thrust, and then as we leveled with him, we switched back to normal mode, and you'll see I, you know, kind of corkscrewing towards my target here. And again, right here, I'll switch into VTOL mode because I'm canceling his momentum here with mine. And even though he's at full burn right now, he's got his main thrusters facing 90 degrees away from me, I'm, not, I'm staying with him the whole time, right? And because I'm switching my VTOL thrusters to push myself into a center position, and then once I gain that position, then I switch back to normal mode and I, and I manage my forward and back distance control against my enemy. If this doesn't make sense, guys, it's okay. I have a few more videos on the topic uh, on this channel here. You can look up the Drake video called Taming the Beast. And, but, I mean, long story short is, you know, when you're sliding through a corner, put your bottom thrusters in the position to cancel your motion, slam this girl into VTOL mode, bring yourself back to center relative to your enemy, turn the VTOL mode off, and re-engage, right? And don't forget, so you can also create angles with the VTOL mode really effectively. So once you manage the VTOL, <coughs> excuse me, um, you know, once you manage the VTOL on the Drake, she can run circles around even some of the most, you know, the more nimble ships. And with six forward-facing size three guns and a lot of magazine capacity, the Cutlass is no joke a very effective PvP ship. On top of the fact that she can run box missions, I mean, she can do so many things. I'm actually starting to become a bit of a fan of the Drake Cutlass, I'll be honest. Uh, it's kind of a rough and tumble ship. It's got lots of space and cargo and, you know, she can relatively take a hit. I mean, the ship is a pretty tough ship, right? So, you know, I, honestly, I give the Cutlass a solid A tier when it comes to dogfighting and a lot of people don't really realize that, but the ship can seriously thump. So good on the Cutlass, you know, uh, it's definitely one of those ships that most pilots really don't know how to handle correctly and they're really not getting the most out of this platform. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope this was entertaining and I also hope I got to show you some of these, you know, quote unquote non meta ships in uh, in a more of a refined light. Right. Thank you so much, guys, for all the love and support. We reached 10,000 YouTube subscribers. It's pretty incredible considering we started this journey six months ago. You've all been so fantastic. You've all been so helpful. Thank you so much for coming to the Discord and supporting the stream and supporting all of us here at Avenger Squadron. I wish I had the words to tell you guys how much it's been an honor and how exciting it is to keep making content. Not every day is great. Some days are up, some days are down. That's the way life goes. But you guys have always been there to support myself and the rest of the team. And for that, I'm truly grateful. Thank you for all the love and support, guys. Thank you for watching these uh, these videos. I hope to see you all up for stream. And in the next video, I was Avenger 1. And I'll see you next time.